I'm Michelle Baldwin. I came to North Cross the way probably a lot of people came to North Cross, which is somebody invited me. Um, Susan Young asked me uh, if I would come and join the choir, and I was at a time in my life when I was looking for a new church. Uh, so I came and I've never left. It's been about 10 years now. I'm not a group person. I am a solitary learner. Uh, I also am somebody who, I do realize that I learn by conversations one-on-one, -on -one, but groups are a challenge for me sometimes. So, um, but I, I have, well, I have been a part of actually two groups at North Cross, the How to Pray group, and then most recently in the spring, the Red Letter Challenge. I, I found the Red Letter Challenge, the book itself, to be great source material. It was, um, it, it really focused you on, probably for me, examining myself at a level that I have not looked at myself for a long time, probably since I was a teenager when you go through all of that angst. And then we did a small group uh, with the choir, which is an easy way for me to get involved in groups because these are people, many of whom, even though I've not necessarily been in North Cross for 30 years, I've known many of these people for 30 years. And I learned things about them that I never knew. Um, at the same time, when I was examining myself and realizing I mean, I'm not a bad person. I don't, I don't go out and murder people, but there are, there are gaps in my Christian life. There are places of omission. There are places of, that need shoring up. Um, and there are things that, where I just fall short. Um, and this allowed me to examine those. But the small group then was the reassurance that I'm not in this by myself. All of these people for whom I had, that, that I had known for 30 years, and I respected a great deal, not only as in most of their cases, educators, but also as Christians. And they were opening up themselves in a way that said to me, this is okay. It's okay to find out that there are things about yourself that, um, that sometimes you just assume people not know. And then to realize that I could share those things and those people still loved me, they still respected me, they still cared for me. And if human beings can do that, how much more could God possibly love you, even though he knows all of those bad things about you? I also have to say that I was also helped by the fact that I'm, I have a good friend, Susan Young, same person who got me to North Cross, and it was during COVID and she and I would meet outside on our decks and patios and we would talk about this. And um, so that was even another layer of support. I think that's why I've been such a proponent of this, this model and this particular book too, is because it wasn't just a one-time thing for me. This has had, um, at least several months later, it is still impacting my life and giving me an opportunity to think about um, what, what next steps I might wanna take and how I can be, uh, how I can continue to grow as a Christian, even at my age. <laughs>